the last ever locker code of NBA 2K22, which gives you an Endgame Deluxe Pack or an Invincible Deluxe Pack. Let's see what we can get, man. I'm trying to get the Endgame Pack, but it looks like we are going to get... Oh, it bounced out. Let's see, let's see, let's see, man. I really want an Endgame Pack, but we got the Invincible Pack. I mean, at least the Invincible Packs... At least these cards are not copy and paste, you know. It's not going to be either set shot 3, not set shot 3, base 3, or set shot 25. At least these cards are somewhat different. Let's see what we can get here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, let's see, let's see. An Invincible Deluxe, the last locker code of NBA 2K22, my team. Of course, we get a check. Oh, wow. I forgot this was still a thing. <laughs> the next gen just blank screen. I can't even see what we got. I got a spam A. I can't believe they never patched this. And we get Shaquille O'Neal. Uh <laughs> I really wanted like Steph Curry or I don't know, some somebody that hasn't gotten an endgame, but there you go, man. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Last locker code of 2K22. I have 2,000 tokens. And there is literally nothing that I want to get. None of these cards are good, to be honest. 1,000 tokens. Uh, 750 for some heroes. The only hero that I want is Bill Russell. Because I think he's like the most expensive one. Uh, 300 tokens for an NBA 75 Opal that came out, God, like, <laughs> it came out like four months ago. Yeah, Hall of Fame badges are cool. Um, a Dark Matter, Dark Matter cards that are literally like, like five or six K. I mean, wow. <laughs> I mean, I can play draft, I guess. A pink diamond, Michael Red for 10 wins. There's no end game packs in here. Just invincible packs. You can play limited for Drukes for Carmelo. Um, unlimited for JR. Those cards are barely 20k. Um, wow. How the mighty just fall like that. If I was a developer, I'll be trying my best to keep some type of momentum for NBA 2K23. I wouldn't just kill the game with like 29 days left before the next game comes out. Wow, I got Devin Booker again. <laughs> wow, these, re these rewards look very uninspiring. Let's see how much that Luka costs. Honestly, guys, if you are on next gen, just buy the Invincible Luka. It's the Luka that got the actual, like, glitchy jump shot. If you're on current gen, I guess you can use the point guard Luka. But let's see how much point guard Luka is. So this is how much the level 40 reward costs. I assume it's probably, like, 40k. Let's see. How much does the end game Luca cost? There you go, 50k. 50k for level 40. Now that is interesting. But yeah, um, overall, you know, last locker code of 2k22, <laughs> we got Shaquille and you. Invincible, definitely not an invincible that I wanted. But, um, yeah, that's it, man. I'm going to finish the year with 2,000 tokens. I, and I literally have nothing to spend it on. Um, 200 KMT that I'm probably going to just open endgame packs, I guess. Wow. How the mighty have fallen, man. The game was such at a good pace for Season 7 and then Season 8. Just the worst season of all time. And then you finish it off with 
season nine, which is just wow. There's really not that much I can say. There's really not that much I can say. How much is Invincible Curry, man? We haven't gotten an endgame curry, man. I really want to use curry. I'll probably pay the fee. Use curry, man. That sucks. We didn't get an endgame curry, but we got an endgame taco. Wow. <laughs> Such a disappointing end. Such a disappointing end to the season. To the year overall of my team. Very, very bad way to end it. But I appreciate it. If you guys were here for me this year. If you guys were here for my content. If you guys saw my content. You even liked my content over on YouTube. Twitter. TikTok. I really do appreciate it. This is my first year of content creating. And I look forward to going even harder next year. Thank you guys for everything. And yeah. I'll see you guys on the next video. See you.